principles and methods of crop production the branch of agric agricultural science which is concerned with crop production and the management of farms is called a agronomy agronomy discussing about the methods and uh, principles of crop production principles of crop production maintenance of fertility and productivity of soil needs arrangement for prevention of disease and removal of used pests and weeds we use different types of pesticides and weed sides in our field during the cultivation after each harvesting we should remove all these pest used pesticides and weed sides from field for better production of our next cultivation and also we want to give proper arrangement for the prevention of diseases sowing healthy seeds in the field at the right time at the right distance and up to the correct depths proper arrangement for availability of water and fertilizers is another important factor if plants didn't get enough water and fertilizers it will not grow properly so we should give enough water and fertilizers and give proper arrangement for getting them selection of right crop type in accordance with variation of type of soil and climate as we know different climates and soil suitable for different types of crops some special uh, trees grow in some special areas only because it needs Uh, a special climate and soil type so if we select a crop we should select one which is suitable for our climate and soil crop harvesting at suitable time scientific storage of harvest use of multiple cropping and mixed farming farming this we discussed later crop rotation soil improvement and management all these are principles we going we are going to discuss each and every one in detail then methods there are dif uh, different methods mainly four methods for crop production crop rotation mixed farming multiple cropping and organic farming crop rotation means growing of crops in predetermined sequence at a particular time is called a crop rotation in this methods crops are grown first that require more water subsequently crops requiring less water are grown the same fields and also we use uh, some special crops crop type that need more fertilizers first and then less fertilizer second one so we didn't give more water or more fertilizer for our next crop and also it helps to uh, fertilize soil more for example we already discussed about uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria which fixes nitrogen atmospheric nitrogen to the soil like rhizobium it lives in the roots nodules of leguminous plants so after a rice crop we plant leguminous plants like moon etc so uh, the bacteria living in the roots of these plants add sufficient nitrogen to the soil if we our next uh, crop is rice crop then we didn't add nitrogen because the previous crop add sufficient nitrogen to the soil 
this type of uh, soil we uh, this type of cultivations we used in crop rotation so it uh, also help the farmers to reduce the use of artificial fertilizers benefits of crop rotation maintains fertility of field and affords soil nutrition due to abundance of nitrogen increase crop production prevent soil erosion when we put the soil uncultivated it causes soil erosion economical crop production effective use of available resources during all the time we use our field efficiently control of insects and disease affecting crops regular income throughout the year mixed cropping next one is mixed cropping mixed cropping is the growing of two or more than two crops at the same time in the same field during the same time for instance mixed cropping of wheat with peas or wheat with mustard or groundnut with sunflower during this process the crop seeds are combined and scattered in the field or they are planted in separate rows as their maturation time and harvesting time are different so we get different products at the same time with the with the same effort we didn't give extra effort for our uh, one crop we do the same effort for both multi cropping multi cropping is the planting of two to four crops during the same year in the same field for multi cropping we want to plant crops having less type for growing organic farming if we use uh, chemical fertilizers more it affects the fertility and productivity of our soil so organic farming helps the soil uh, and uh, plants to re retain the ecological balance and it increase the productivity and fertility of soil and the productivity is long lasting it helps the farmer to do the same crop at different time horticulture includes the gardening of fruits and vegetables improved agricultural practices during the green revolution dr m swaminathan used some special technique techniques to farmers for increasing the crop production during this time we start use chemical fertilizers and many equipments to easy our cultivation as we know the uh, temperature of earth increasing and uh, pollution of atmosphere pollution of ozone etc etc increasing all these factors affect the production of our crop so the crop production may be may become decreasing so at this time we increase our production step by step by overcoming all these problems that is the main feature of our green revolution unfortunately due to the excessive use of chemical fertilizers insecticides pesticides affect the productivity of our soil and we turn to organic farming the excessive use of chemical fertilizers affect the uh, beneficial bacteria and also worms insects and other small animals living in the field 
which help the farmer to get more product so the production of the field decreases drastically we are going to discuss about all these factors in detail first one making the soil suitable for farming different types of crops needs different types of arrangement of soil we want to arrange top soil for our cultivation farming begins begins with the formation of this top soil this is a important function for starting a cultivation next one is treatment of seeds seeds are attached easily by tiny microbes the crops that is grown with a diseased seed will also be diseased so we want to treat seeds before planting by giving uh, proper protection from microbes and diseases preparation of seed field and taking care of new plants seeds of some crops like rice and some vegetables are not sown directly in the main field firstly this seeds sown in a uh, planted field and then transplant it into another field so we want to take care about the seeds because this is uh, this have tiny roots and leaves if we didn't give uh, enough care it will destroy the field top soil should be soft and loose so that the delicate roots of saplings can grow properly this is possible by digging and pluffing the field so we want to level and loosen the soil by using water and the proper uh, arrangement using pluff or other equipment all the weeds or unwanted plants should be removed from the field because they receives water and nutrition from the top soil so our uh, crop didn't get enough water and nutrition transplantation the process of shifting the new plants from the field where they were sown to the main field is called a transplantation we already discussed about the in the case of rice we sow the seed in a different place and after reaching the desired height uh, desired growth then we transplant it in the main field in this process we can select healthy plant for soil uh, soil the use of fertilizers and manures fertilizers and manures are important factor of Cult, uh, agriculture for healthy growth a total of 16 nutritive elements are required by the plants plants receive carbon and oxygen from air oxygen and hydrogen from water that means three nutritive elements carbon oxygen and hydrogen get directly from air and soil air and water all the remaining 13 nutritive elements we want to give by adding fertilizer or manure to the soil out of total nutrients six are needed by plants in larger quantity are called macronutrients and seven needed in small quantity are called micronutrients macronutrients includes phosphorus potassium calcium magnesium sulfur and nitrogen micronutrients includes iron manganese boron zinc copper molybdenum and chlorine manure and fertilizer provides all these nutritive elements to the top soil and and help obtain better harvest